Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about how to detect if your customer has purchased the same product twice. Obviously, some of you want your customers to purchase the same product millions of times, but sometimes, especially if you're selling memberships, you might want to make sure they don't sign up for the same membership twice. So we'll talk about that in today's video. Today's question comes from Phoebe in Roswell, Georgia, one of my Platinum members. Phoebe says, my products include memberships. How can I verify if a customer has purchased the same membership twice? Most of our purchases are unique one-offs, but sometimes a customer enrolls in the same membership more than once and then gets, gets billed twice. I would like to be able to run a weekly query to see if any customers have duplicated their purchases. If they purchased another membership for a different person, it would go on a new customer record. I get this all the time, even with my database. I have obviously my different membership, Silver, Gold, Platinum. And sometimes someone will come in on a, on a Tuesday and sign up for a silver membership, forget about it, and then come back, you know, on Thursday and sign up for another one. And I have yet to program my website to yell at people when they do this, but my database does check for it. So I have it, so it runs nightly and it just runs through all the orders and all the memberships. And if it sees any duplicates, then it at least flags me and I can fix it before the customer gets billed another time for the, the second month. So. Um, let's take a look at how we can do this. There's lots of different ways you can do this. Before we get into it though, this is gonna be an expert level course. What does expert mean? Well, it's my level between beginner and developer. So it's a little bit beyond the basics, but it's not quite programming. We don't need any VBA for this. You will need to know how to use aggregate queries. So if you've never used one of those before, a summary query basically, go watch this video. And this is a beginner topic. You should know how to use access query criteria. And these are both free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch those first and then come on back. Now I do have another video called Prevent Duplicates. This one is to prevent a user from putting the same product on the same order twice. Like you can see here, if they try to add phaser a second time to the same order, it yells at them. And I do this by creating something called a composite key. This is another method you could use. You could just set up the composite key between the customer and the product versus the order in the product, which is what we do here. But in, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you a different method for doing it. Like I said, there's lots of different ways to do stuff. I'm just giving you different tools for your box, right? I'm giving you several different Legos and you can put them together however you want. So in today's video, we'll use an aggregate query to do basically the same thing. Sometimes you want to allow the user to add a second membership. There might be an exception, for example. And if you do a composite key, you're, you're really limited. The, the system will not let you add the duplicate. With this method, it, it just generates a report for you. You can run it daily or weekly or monthly, and it will at least point out who's got the same service twice. You might wanna put a note on the customer saying that this is okay, they got a service for themselves and their grandma, and they don't want a second customer record. I don't know. I like to leave room for exceptions, and sometimes things that you hard code into a database don't give you that opportunity. So what are we gonna do? So let's start off first by putting in some data into this database. By the way, this is the Tech Help free template. You can get a copy of this off my website if you want to. It's a free database. And we got customers and each customer has orders and each order has products on it. Let's say that I ordered the Phaser Bank twice. Now this is just a text field. This same thing will work fine if you're using product IDs, whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna use the text of the description. So I'm gonna copy that. Let's go down here to order two and I'm gonna add a Phaser Bank to this one. Okay, so now I have purchased Phaser Bank twice. Pretend it's a silver membership, I don't care. Let's do someone else too, let's pick a different customer. Let's go to uh, Jean-Luc and his orders, and he's got a bottle of wine right there. Let's create a second order for him. I'll put today's date in there, that's control semicolon, pops today's date in there. Description if you want to, and I'll put in there that bottle of wine, and he paid 120 for this one. Oops, what happened? Oh, I got my numlock key off. Numlock 120, okay. And of course, you can add all kinds of criteria, checking to see if the order's paid, all that stuff. I'm just gonna keep it simple for now. Okay, all right, everybody with me so far? If not, raise your hand. No, <laughs> it goes back to my days of teaching in the classroom. All right, first thing we need to do, well actually second thing now, is we need to create a query to bring together the customer, the order, and the order detail. That's how we're gonna get the information that we need. So create, query design, I'm going to bring in from my tables, we want the customer table, double click, the order table and the order detail table. And you see the relationships are made for us because we have our fields named the same thing, okay? 
Do you have to worry about the join type here? No, not really, this is fine because we're looking for a customer and a related detail item and if you're, you're missing something, that, that's okay, not a big deal. Let's bring in the customer and let's bring in the product name. So it's gonna show you a list of each customer and all of the products they have. So you can have one record for each match of those two things, right? It's gonna be customer and then product name. And if you run it now, there you go. This is every product or every customer and all of the products they purchased. And if you put a sword on, let's put a sword on so we can see here. Let's sort this by ascending there and ascending there. That'll make it easier for us to read. Okay, there we go. There's all of customer one's purchases. You can see there's two phaser banks right there. We don't care about the order ID, right? Yeah, you could add other kind of criteria if you want to say, you know, within the previous year, because maybe it's a renewing membership. I don't know. There's lots of, you can put whatever criteria you want in here. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing to do is we're going to group these. If you group it by customer and by product, it'll group all the like items together. So instead of having two items for phaser bank, you, you should only see one if we had the grouping right. Right. So let's go over here and turn on totals. This creates an aggregate query. And now it's both group by customer ID and group by product name. Okay, run it. And now I only see one phaser bank because it's grouped together. Okay. Now, I don't just wanna see that it's grouped together. I wanna count of how many of these there are. So then we're gonna use the count, but where do we put the count? Well, you could put the count here or here, either one, but then you're gonna lose some data. And this doesn't even, yeah, it doesn't even come out right there. So it's, it's just all, it just scrambles everything. I, I still want this information. I still need the customer ID and the product name. So how do we, what do we put our count on? Well, let's just add the customer ID or any of these fields again, and we're gonna count this guy. Okay, count of the number of times a customer ID appears for this group. And there you go. See that? You got a bunch of ones and you got two twos in there, two phaser banks for customer one right? Two bottles of wine for customer four. And again, you can use product IDs or whatever other data you want in here. Now, if you only want to see the ones where the person has purchased more than one of them, just put your criteria in here, greater than one. And now if I run it, boom, there you go. And maybe change it from count of customer ID. Let's add an alias to that. We can alias that here. I'll zoom in. Shift F2. We'll alias this. We'll call this um, uh, product count or whatever. All right, this is called an alias. I've got another video on that. If you don't know what an alias is, I'll put a link to that down below as well. It's just basically giving a calculated field a different name. So you can see it like that instead of count of customer ID, which is kind of meaningless. Okay, and there you go. That's basically it, right? Save the query as um, you know, duplicate product Q, whatever you want to call it. And now you just run this daily or weekly or monthly or whatever you want to see it. And you've got the customer ID, you know what they purchased and how many they got. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like learning with me, come check out my website. I got lots of beginner, expert, advanced developer lessons, lots of stuff. My expert level lessons cover all the stuff that's beyond the basics. Like, we, you know, in the basics, we cover form design and building simple queries and stuff like that. And in the expert series is when we start tearing that stuff apart and really getting under the hood. I got 32 different levels of expert series covering everything from relationships and referential integrity to action queries, you name it, it's in there. Everything short of programming is covered in my expert lessons. But there you go, folks. That's going to do it. That's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted.
Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject, and I cover Lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just Access. These are the full-length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. 
In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.